First, download the all-in-one mods.rar file, which will include every single mod. You're gonna need WinRAR or 7-zip to open it, but as you can see, once we open it, we get all of the mod files in here. So now you're gonna install the main four mods for each map, which is super simple. We're gonna go ahead and press Windows R to open up the run, and we're gonna type percent app data percent. This is gonna take us to our app data um, location, but we gotta go back out of roaming first here. So we're just gonna go back here, and now we're gonna start with local, Activision, COD World at War, and in here there should be a mods folder. If there's not, you can go ahead and create it, just mods. And then once you open this, this is gonna be where all of your World at War mods go to, okay? So it's not in the root directory like most games, but it's in the separate app data Activision directory. So once we get here, you're gonna go ahead and drag all four of the maps on here. <coughs> so that's done. Now, once the maps are in, you're gonna to need to go back to your root directory actually. So to find this, um, it's the same as every Steam game. You go to your program files, then you go to Steam, then you go to Steam apps, then you go to Common, then you go to World at War. And now once you get here, you can go ahead and drag in this file right here, the d3d9.dll. So this is T4M, which inc increases the uh, memory limit and sound limits and other um, limitations of the game. And so we're gonna drag that in, I already have it, but um, additionally, if you want, you can also drag in the land fixed exe if you have trouble playing LAN and you need to get that working. You can also drag in this image file, which just makes the logo of the console look better if you're running with an external console. And then lastly, we also have these shortcuts, which I'm gonna just put into here. But if you wanna run the game um, with a shortcut, you can go ahead and do that. So you can put these anywhere you want on the desktop, but we're just gonna start with Nocturne Toten, for example. And we can just go ahead and double click it. <coughs> and we are all set to go and you can just start the game from here. Now, alternatively, you can also load the game through Steam um, and just select the mod in your mods list. So I'll go ahead and show that really quickly, but if you were using Steam, you would just go to play and then we have to find the mod in our mods list. And so of course, this first one corresponds to Noct, DLC one is Verruckt, DLC two is Shinonuma, and DLC three is Dereese. So you just double click it and then the game will restart with the mod loaded. So thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoy.